Hi there, how are we doing? Sunday shave, Sunday afternoon. Been out on the golf course this morning, blowing an absolute hoolie. 35 mile an hour winds, loads of fun. Uh, in the last video, I had a comment reference the brush saying, What does this bull lather like? So, that's what we're going to find out today. So, the brush is my alpha shaving barbell. That is 3D printed. Last time you'll see this on camera for a while with a 26mm silk smoke knot in it. The soap is in the bowl, which is a Giles shaving pedestal bowl. It's a sample of Heritage Hill The Patriot. This is either sent by Craig Will or Scott Newman. Can't remember which. Possibly Craig. If it was, not any of you. Thanks very much. Haven't used Heritage Hill before, so we'll see how it goes. The scent notes are lime, bergamot, and patchouli. So, to start things off, give me a head start. When I bowl lather, I use a little half teaspoon measure. I'm just going to dump a teaspoon of water on top of the soap. The razor for today is, it's October, so there's going to be a few open comb razors in October. Possibly not every shave, but there'll be a few open comb razors. The razor for today is this one. The Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Ascension Double Open Comb Twist Adjustable. That's a bit of a gobful, isn't it? I like to call it Bob. So there we go. So it's a three piece razor. Twist adjustable is a misnomer. All you're doing really is not taking the handles onto the head as much as you would. So because of the curvature of the blade, as you can see there, it's quite a quite a curved. Curvature, curved curvature. It puts a good, decent amount of curvature on the blade. All you're doing when the blade's loaded up is turning the top, turning the top cap of the base plate, and the blade, the tension on the blade holds it in place, which obviously increases, removes the bit of curvature, therefore increases the blade gap. So there's the top cap. This is the flat bottom, flat bottomed version. Uh, That we're using today and inside there we've got a Gillette this is from the barber shop Wilkinson sword and it's third use so there's the blade loaded there's little little cutouts at the end come quite handy for holding the blade there it is all together Put a plastic washer on and the bottom tip and there we go seats there's not much of a blade gap there at all however we shall quarter half turn there we go that's how we're going to go for the first pass right let's get a lather nut together so dry brush i'm not actually going to dip the tips and give it a shake and we'll get into Heritage Hill. This is a tavo soap. I think it's beef tavo based, so no doubt it's going to be thirsty. It is going to be thirsty. So we'll go for another, another teaspoon of water. It might look a bit runny. Give us a sec. There we go, it's soon come together. Yeah, the comp was like four and a half minutes, five minutes to face lather. Yeah, it's what I like, it's what I enjoy. So, ball lathering, I don't think it's brush 
I know it won't because the first lather I did with it as a test lather after I put them together was a bowl lather with some 3p so that's been mixed with sterling and about 20 other samples so I'm not going daft We've got a pretty good shine on that soap already. I'm not putting any more water in at the moment. You can see the bushes spread a little in the bowl. Well, there we go. Technical part, wet the face. So how was your weekend going? We went to see Bond on Friday night. If you haven't seen it, I would recommend it. No spoilers. The only thing I would say is it's of a different pace than you would expect for a Bond movie. And it pulls together the Daniel Craig series of Bond movies into one and it finishes his storyline as Bond very well. Put the razor in the sink. So as you can see we're still getting well there's still a bit dry though. Well, we can soon amend that. Yeah, it's not. It, this isn't a, a stereotypical American soap in your face scent. I'll say this is. It's stronger than European, but less than some American soaps, strength wise. I was going to do a Mickey take intro, but that would have just pissed off a lot of people. Shouldn't taste too bad. So there we go. There's the brush. There's the lava for the first pass. And there's the razor. Bob. Bob. Face. Face. Bob. Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Ascension. Double open comb, twist adjustable. That's why it's called Bob. So even with the curvature, the head half a turn loose. The curvature on the blade is enough to hold the head in place. You need to get quite a steep angle on it, just otherwise you're just getting teeth. So yeah, Bond was quite good, I enjoyed Bond. That's a work shave right there, I could just go to work on that. Obviously, because of the lack of weight, people have a ten tendency to push with aluminium handles or aluminium razors. There's no need to. The razor will do the, the razor and the blade will do the work, and all you'll do is give yourself. The lab is actually pretty good. Just give yourself razor burn and irritation.
the bomb tip handle is lovely that just the two notches there just fit your finger perfectly for holding the razor right so we'll tighten the head back up there we go there's the head tighten back up and then we'll loosen it back loosen it back off by a quarter of a turn there we go that's all going to use do the next pass I could easily go to work on that and be quite happy over it just for a bit of fun I'm going to go back with half a teaspoon of water actually no a teaspoon of water It also picks up any remnants of soap that's left in the bowl. And in case you're wondering, that's the sample pot. I used a quarter of it. So we're not using a huge amount of soap really. wasn't piled thick and high lather no issues at all with this lather or the soap actually quite impressed I don't know if it's readily available in the UK or whether it's a UK US only import job Sense strength wise, yeah, I would actually go more towards Wickham level now. Doesn't taste too well actually now. Yeah, I would certainly say it's on par with Wickham for sense strength. And I haven't used Wickham in a long while. That is a quality lather, it's just dropping off the base plate. The only thing I would say about this, about this razor that could be seen as negative is the bottom base plate, the teeth. They're a bit on the toothy, sharp side. If you get the angle wrong. film Plenty of slickness on that soap. And plenty of soap. I 
I'm going to dump another teaspoon of water into the bowl and leave it. And whatever's left after this pass will lather up for my push every routine. So we'll tighten the head all the way up, there we go, it's now, it's nipped up, it's tight, it's tighter than a Yorkshireman's wallet. Yeah, it's certainly uh, angle dependent this razor. Get the angle right and it works well. because of the size of the head and the curvature in the blade. A bit awkward under the nose, maybe. Normal pickups, which for me is neck into the into the chin. That's it. We're done. So I've got a teaspoon of water here, load us up in the brush and this guarantees the bowl will be clean for the next use. It's dribbling off my chin, missus. Anybody new, this is my Porsche routine. I use the excess soap for a face wash. I don't just wash and wash it and wash it off. I apply the soap and I leave it. A lot of the soaps these days have butters and all sorts of stuff in them. A bit of water. <coughs> Need some lunch. So while I'm 
getting the razor, the brush, and everything else cleaned up. I'll just leave the soap on the face. If you haven't tried it, give it a go. You might be surprised at the results. Brush cleaned, bowl cleaned, post shave, back in a tick. Haven't been anywhere, but we're here again. The nice part is when you're pulling it off with, a, with your hand, if you feel any bits of stubble that you still want to pick up, if you are the ultimate BBS chaser, which I'm not, you can go ahead and just pull the, uh, the razor over the bits you're looking to tidy up. There we go. That actually feels pretty good on the skin. Which hazel? No, I'm not going to bother. I'm going to put a bit of post shave balm on, mainly because I want to try and kill this thing. It just won't die. That will do nicely. Right, quick recap recap of what we used today. The soap was The Patriot by Her Heritage Hill. Quite a, quite a nice soap. I would say that's towel, towel Wickham. That's pretty good in my books. Because it was a sample, we bowl lathered it with my pedestal bowl from Giles Shaving. And we loaded up with my 3D print Alpha Barbell Silk Smoke, silk smoke Brush. And the razor was and still is Bob. The Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Ascension. Twist adjustable, double open comb. And, then, and the blade was, and still is, it's in the razor still, a Jellet Wilkinson sword. That's it folks, we are done. Uh, nights of drawing in. Midweek videos. May well happen, they may not. We shall see, just for lighting and that sort of stuff. Uh, we're done. Have a good week. Stay safe. If you have any comments, leave them below. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.